The topic that I chose for my scratch project is Olympics. It is a modified monopoly game that will tell us some fun facts on Olympics and test our knowledge on this topic too. The reason I created this game Please is to introduce players, players to Olympics game. Besides, I always believe that learning to play is more effective than chalk and talk method. Players could learn through the game some fun you facts of correct. Olympics and not just play for fun. Next, let me show you how we can learn to play via this correct. Monopoly game. Once the green flag is clicked, players will be brought to the cover page of the game. Players can click on the did you know if they want to learn the Olympic fun facts or directly click on test your knowledge to start to play the game. If we click on the did you know button, the backdrop will switch to the fun fact page. Players can learn the fun fact of Ancient Olympic, Modern Olympic, Winter Olympic, Paralympic, Malaysia in Olympic, and Famous Olympian. At any point of time, player can just click on Test Your Knowledge to start to play. At the game page, press Go to start the game. I'll click on Instructions to know the rules to win the game. To start the game, select number of players, then click on the dice to roll the dice. Answer the questions accordingly. If correct, 100 points will be added. Else, 100 points will be deducted. Player who successfully collect 1,000 points win the game. Next, please select number of players. Let me share with you the source code that I use in my project. This is the source code. How will the fun facts for each topic being presented? To players when they click on a particular topic. As I want to make the game more interesting, instead of design a single player's game, I choose to create a multiplayer's game. Players can compete among themselves and this you may induce them to study harder on the topics so that they could win the game. This is how the coding looks like how the players take their sequence and how the players move either to right, down, left, or up. Then, to make the game more challenging, I arrange the coding in a way that there are three questions created on each coding. Each player may get different questions even they land on the same coding. You are correct like the previous players and this and this is how the arrangement of the costume for the question sprite subsequently i would like to share with you how the game determines whether the players have answered the question correctly a list of answers had been created one is assigned to correct statement and zero to the wrong statement. So when the players click either on yes or no, this the scratch will counter check with the answer list. If it match the answer list number, one hundred points will be added. Else, one hundred points will be deducted. If I have more time, besides true and false questions, I will include the multiple choice questions into the game to make the game even more challenging. I will also include the movement changes when the players move to next code. For example, when the right direction of players is toward right side, the player's costume will switch to right facing costume. Hope you will enjoy the game and let's learn Olympic fun fact now. Thank you.